641 new this morning. It's warming up and that means a trip to the pool, lake or beach may be in your future. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Yes, but if you are going swimming, 10 News reporter Megan Woods is working for you on what you and your family need to know to avoid drowning because it can happen quickly, very quickly. And there are some alarming statistics that support that. Listen to this in Virginia. Drowning is the leading cause of death and injury for kids ages one to four, and that's according to VDH. We spoke to the aquatics manager at the Kirk, Kirk family YMCA, and he said the key to saving a life in the water is what you do before even heading to that beach or lake. Here's what you may want to consider where you're going to swim. Is it a designated area for swimmers? When you get there, do you you see buoys. If so, don't swim past those and look out for warning signs telling you where not to swim. Another pointer, swim during the day with another adult who can swim. If there's no lifeguard, pick someone to be a water watcher. Bring your own life vest and flotation device that doesn't rely on air like a noodle. The most important safety tip, take swimming lessons, kids and adults. Don't just keep them in for three months. Keep them in for six to eight months and realize even then after swim lessons have occurred, there's no such thing as water safe. So even if they've had lessons, yes, they are 88% less likely to experience a drowning. You still need to watch them. The Y is having a Memorial Day swim clinic for ages five and up. For more information on that and other helpful tips, visit WSLS.com. I'm Megan Woods, 10 News, working for you.